information was of two workmen brushing dirt off a, 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 a bluestone lintel that was propped up on some blocks of wood. Well, that was found over there and they reburied it again, which is rather annoying because it's a beautiful stone. But here's a bluestone pillar that was a part that ended up as part of the horseshoe, a shaped spotted dolerite pillar. But look, there's a hole here. And if you know where to stick your fingers in the grass, nobody's looking. Look, there's another <laughs> oh, one. Yeah. There's another one here. Right, so there are two mortise holes in this. So this was a lintel at some stage. Some of these uprights have got traces on the top of them of tenons that have been battered off and smoothed off, but you can't fill a hole in. So there are at least two bluestone lintels, and they're not like these trilithons, are they? Because these, the mortise holes, are set well in from the edge, so maybe the structure looks sort of more like, more like that. But the big puzzle is where did these blue stones stand as miniature trilithons? Was it here? Because we haven't got any stone holes that fit with that sort of spacing. Was it, you know, out somewhere around this landscape? Or, what I always find intriguing, was it in Wales? Was what they brought from Wales not a collection of building materials, but a whole stone circle? Something that had been set up in a structured way and that was dismantled and brought here. Because I've always found it quite difficult to work out why they brought such a mishmash of rock. Because if I was going all the way to Wales, I'd bring spotted dolerite and nothing else. Because it's hard and it's pretty. They, they, but they brought back volcanic ash, which is dull and grey and so soft that it dissolves. It's disappeared <laughs> from the surface. So. To me that means it's the suggestion is that what they brought back had already been given some specialness because it had been built into a stone circle. 